Good morning, good afternoon and good evening to all denarians on the go and in the know. Like subscribe, and share with your fellow denarian friends to help support our channel. It makes a huge difference and is very much appreciated. Thank you. Check out. The Currency Exchange Planner, voted the number one pre and post RV planning tool for the dinar community. Created by a denarian, for denarians to ensure your exchange goes smoothly and for mapping out all your future financial goals and assets, including the Vietnamese dong, Iranian rattle and of course gold and silver my favorites. Use the promo code, the denarian, and get 25% off along with the newly upgraded mobile application added free for my subscribers. A preview of both the mobile application and the desktop planner is made available on the website for your convenience. Go check them both out today. I also recommend that you register as an affiliate today with the Carrot Bar Gold Savings Program, the gold program designed to save gold in your choice from a gram up to any amount you would like. They mount each fully certified gram of gold on a credit card style placard for easy storage and send it directly to your door via FedEx. It makes saving physical gold easy and affordable for everyone. It is free to register and get yourself all set up for post-exchange gold purchasing. By getting yourself registered today it will be one less thing you will have to worry about doing later. Both the links to the currency exchange planner as well as the carrot bar gold savings program are in the description box below. Always remember, knowledge is power, using that knowledge is powerful. First article of interest for today, an American official. We are ready to discuss our comprehensive strategic relations with Iraq, including security, financial and economic aid. Discussions with Baghdad about the future of the American forces that the Iraqi parliament has called for their departure have not started yet, adding that it will not be possible for the soldiers to stay indefinitely without ending their interest in fighting jihadists. Since the United States killed the Iranian general, Qasim Soleimani, and the leader of the popular crowd, Abu Mahdi al-Muhandis, in a raid near Baghdad airport on January 3rd, operations in Iraq have stopped against the Islamic State, according to the American Special Envoy to the International Coalition, James Jeffrey. We are focusing on protecting our forces, which is threatened by Iranian reprisals, he added during a press conference in Washington Thursday. In the wake of Soleimani's death, the Iraqi parliament voted on a resolution demanding the departure of U.S. and foreign forces. After that, resigned Prime Minister Adel Abdul Mahdi asked U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo to send a delegation to discuss a safe withdrawal of forces from Iraq. There has not yet been a real dialogue, Jeffrey said, before repeating the U.S. position, we don't think we should withdraw. We are ready to discuss with the Iraqi government our comprehensive strategic relations, he added. He pointed out that this includes financial and economic aid, security, equipment for Iraqi forces, and diplomatic relations. We look at that as a whole. The diplomat said that the coalition had not observed an increase in violence in Iraq by ISIS during this period. However, he added, if this is prolonged, there is a danger that our efforts against the Islamic State will be undermined. Next article of interest. Parliamentary finance. The investment budget will decrease if some of its projects enter the Chinese agreement. The Parliamentary Finance Committee indicated on Sunday that the investment budget will be lower than its predecessor in the event that some of its projects enter the Chinese agreement, stressing that some of the terms of the agreement need to be voted in Parliament. Committee member Abdul Hadi Mohan said in a statement to information that the budget did not reach the parliament, especially since the caretaker government cannot send the 2020 budget to the parliament in order to pass it. He added that parliament must wait for the formation of the new government in order to complete the budget and send it to the House of Representatives. He pointed out that some of the budget projects will be implemented by the Chinese agreement in addition to some of the terms of the agreement needing a vote by the parliament in order to pass it in the budget. He explained that it is possible that a reduction in the investment budget after the entry into force of the Chinese agreement.
he stressed that Iraq exports 3.8 million barrels of oil, 100 to 300,000 barrels of which will go to China to continue for many years. Therefore, granting this amount of oil to China will make the investment budget less than it is for some of its projects to go and be implemented according to the aforementioned agreement. Next article of interest. Association of Banks holds a course, Certified Compliance Officer Certificate. The Association of Iraqi Private Banks announced on Sunday that it had held a Certified Compliance Officer Certificate course at its headquarters in Baghdad. The course was held in cooperation between the Iraqi Private Banking Association and the International Academy for Finance and Management. The course aims to define the meaning of corporate compliance and the ability to develop an organizational response to its demands and understand the consequences of the risks of non-compliance as well as assess the relationship between corporate governance and compliance, including market expectations for that relationship. The course targets compliance departments, risk management departments, money laundering and terrorist financing reporting departments secretaries of boards and internal audit departments. Next article of interest. Baram Sali gives the parliamentary blocks until Thursday to present a candidate for prime minister. An informed source revealed that the president of the republic, Baram Saleh, gave the parliamentary blocks until next Thursday to submit a candidate to head the new government. The source said that Saleh called on the political blocks to submit the name of an agreed candidate for the position of Prime Minister, for the purpose of forming the new government in place of Adel Abdel Mahdi's resigned government, before next Thursday. He pointed out that the Prime Minister informed the political blocs that otherwise he would be dissolved from his commitment with the political blocs, and announced the name of a candidate before him to form the government. The political blocs failed to present a consensual candidate after the protesters in the squares announced their rejection of the candidates submitted by the al fatah bloc being the largest bloc in parliament, demanding to nominate an independent candidate and did not hold a ministerial position in previous governments. Iraq has been in a volatile situation since the resignation of the government of Abdul Mahdi, following the protests that plagued Baghdad and a number of governorates in central and southern Iraq and led to the fall of nearly 600 martyrs and hundreds of wounded prompting the religious authority in Najaf to announce its support for the protesters, demands to resign the government and nominate a person, indisputable, to head a transitional government preparing for early elections. Next article of interest. Parliamentary Legal. Parliament may hold its last session tomorrow. Member of the Parliamentary Committee, Hussein al -Okabi suggested on Sunday that tomorrow's session of the House of Representatives will be the last during the legislative term, indicating that extending the work of the House of Representatives is not possible. al said in a statement to information that the Parliament will hold its regular session tomorrow Monday to discuss routine files and pass some laws in the event of a quorum, noting that tomorrow's session may be the last due to the imminent end of the legislative term and the start of the legislative holiday without any delay. al added, the internal system of the parliament requires that the holiday be on February 3rd, after the extension of parliament's work on January 3rd. The parliamentary legal committee had confirmed earlier that extending the work of the House of Representatives without taking the legislative holiday is unconstitutional while he made it clear that the presidency of the House of Representatives will start implementing the legislative holiday early next month. Next article of interest. al Nasseri. We need a systematic movement for economic reform. The economic and banking advisor to the Association of Iraqi Private Banks, Samir al Nasseri, demanded, on Sunday, that there should be a systemic movement to draw a roadmap for economic reform carried out by the elites in economic financial and banking competencies of Iraq and that the economic movement is based on several important economic pillars that adopt a new philosophy to manage the economy and achieve the central goal of by creating sustainable development, achieving diversification of resources, developing economic and human structures in order to properly build the national economy and building the introductions to the transition to a social market economy. He added in an interview with Alec D. Sad News 
We need serious work for the economic transformation and to look to the future and the available capabilities and with a realistic and ambitious roadmap that depends on managing and distributing public money in a transparent and fair way, provided that the beneficiary and the results and outputs of the people and that the citizen feels that his national economy, resources and resources are dedicated to ensuring a decent life, as stated in the Articles of the Permanent Iraqi Constitution in a way that creates prosperity for society. Al-Nusseri asserted, the necessity of setting a new reform approach by our Iraqi experts and competencies, and it is okay to use the houses of solid international expertise, especially from countries that have successful experiences in economic construction in modern history, similar to us in some circumstances and problems, and can benefit from the experiences of Japan, China, Malaysia. Singapore, and some other countries that have adopted a social market economy system. Al Nusseri pointed out the possibility of defining the roadmap to achieve an approach to economic reform in Iraq according to several data, the most important of which is the formation of the Supreme Council for Economic Reform to legislate a law binding the ministries to implement its decisions and has the power to follow up, monitor, and evaluate and is headed by and members of a group of governmental experts and the private economic and technocrats. He pointed out the importance of developing policies and mechanisms to diversify the sources of financing the public budget and not relying on oil only, noting that the directions of reform require moving to the central administration of the economy so that the principle of centralization of planning and decentralization of implementation is implemented. And this means that the Supreme Council for Economic Reform takes charge of plans, policies and distribution of their implementation to specialized councils for reconstruction and investment and the implementation of development projects in the economic and human fields. These councils are the Private Sector Council, the Construction Council, the Small and Medium Enterprises Development Authority, the Public Service Council, and the Product Support and Protection Council Local as well as the achievement of sustainable economic development and create and create an investment climate for local and foreign investors and motivate, encourage and ensure that contractual rights to attract their capital and protect them from the pressures of spoilers. He said that the axis of reform should include providing soft loans to finance small, medium and large projects and establishing a legal and institutional system for managing, developing and developing them as well as issuing and amending the laws of the legal environment to regulate the economic process. This means issuing new laws instead of laws issued in 2004 by the American civil governor notorious Paul Bremer. al Nusseri stressed on the necessity of activating investment in the agricultural, industrial, energy, tourism, services and housing sectors as well as working to reform, develop and develop the banking sector through monetary policy applications and regulating the relationship and restrictions that govern financial and monetary policies, as well as the serious approach to reforming the tax, financial and customs system. Handling Cases of failure to achieve the required growth rates in national income and exceeding the rise in unemployment and poverty rates. Next article of interest. At an international party. Key the best smart card of 2019. The international smart card company Key won the award of the Global Financial Institutions as the best smart card for 2019 by the International Finance Magazine with a group of international companies in some countries that exercise their activities in the field of electronic trading and digital transformation during a major celebration held in Dubai for its prominent role in providing services to 7 million beneficiaries without negligible risks. The banking advisor, Samir al Nusseri, said in a statement that the al News Agency received a copy of it, that the company's acquisition and selection from many companies operating around the world is an important international event that confirms that the Iraqi private sector working in this field has confidently stepped towards development and building human capabilities and technologies like in the countries of the world that preceded us and that, and confirms that the technological developments in banking in Iraq were able, with exceptional national efforts to compete with international companies similar in activity in providing modern banking services and products to customers with high quality. He added, 
so, is the first mixed national company in the financial sector that is run by the Iraqi private sector and the government banking sector. And, we note here clearly that during the past 12 years the international smart card company, Key, was able to achieve a technical leap in the field of electronic payment and the transition of banking products to advanced services to serve customers and compete with the services provided by Arab and foreign banks in terms of services to its customers. The important thing here do pay companies mail owned by shareholders from the private sector attribution trends and the implementation of the central bank strategy for the years 2016 to 2020 in the digital transformation of the system of the Iraqi banking and the development of payment technologies mail as reflected in the high financial rate of coverage according to the latest World Bank report from 11% to 23%. He continued what must be noted is the role played by the international smart card company, K, which is the first company to introduce electronic payment technologies to Iraq in 2007 in strategic partnership with the Rafidain and Rashid banks using the card, smart card, to pay the salaries of retired civilians, military and beneficiaries. From welfare salaries. Next article of interest. Ex-Trump advisor. U.S. should halt China's CBDC development to protect the dollar. The next battleground for the United States and China will be digital currencies. Looking ahead from a trade war heavy 2019, the age of central bank digital currencies CICS, will show the soft power might of global superpowers. For years, the U.S. has been the global economic hegemon, with the dollar as its reserve weapon but the age of CICS, lead by China will threaten this dominance, and in one former Trump advisor's opinion, the U.S. should do all it can to prevent a digital yuan. Tim Morrison the former advisor to President Trump on Russia and Europe, currently a fellow at the Hudson Institute, penned an op-ed in foreign policy detailing a digital makeover for the U.S. dollar in order to prevent China from getting ahead on cryptocurrency. Cloaked in fear, as Libra was being pummeled by regulators, Bitcoin, and cryptocurrencies alike took some hits. President Trump referred to crypto as, based on thin air, Federal Reserve Chairman Powell criticized digital assets and Treasury Secretary Stephen Mnuchin called it a national security issue. Morrison, while agreeing with Mnuchin's quite correct assessment added that digital innovation must firmly be with the U.S., he said, the emerging revolution of digital currency is a national security issue. But the problem is that his approach to digital currency may drive innovation into the hands of the United States' leading national security competitor, China. With the U.S. enjoying economic dominance owing to the dollar's use as a global reserve, Morrison stated that if Washington were to finance its profligate fiscal responsibility, the first to suffer would be the U.S. military. Beijing Power Play From Backing to Implication the manner in which the dollar is weaponized economically is through sanctions. Morrison noted that many of the targets of these sanctions are under the control of Beijing and hence the Chinese administration is looking for ways to avoid the dollar. This is not just with foreign entities, but even domestic. China's aim of going cashless is well stated, and they have already built an efficient foundation of digital payments. By digitizing the economy, through state-controlled applications like Wecot Pay and Alipay, the CCP has only increased its control which it can use as a political weapon. He stated, The reliance on digital payments gives the CCP unprecedented insight and control into every transaction in China. Xi's government is free to weaponize this power to punish its adversaries, whether a Hong Kong activist or a Uyghur Muslim. The Belt and Road Initiative coupled with China building ports in several African and Asian countries is widening its global reach. When payments for these projects are made through digital currency, China will eliminate blocks posed by foreign exchange controls. In doing so, they will set up a parallel network that is not dollar-dependent. Everybody wants to rule the world. Beijing, in the former advisor's opinion, is framing an alternative digital currency system today for exploitation tomorrow, and this tomorrow will be one without privacy and the rule of law.
Morrison noted the uncertain digital currency regulatory atmosphere in the U.S., which could push innovation overseas. In a world where China, the EU, and other superpowers are working on digital currencies for a post-dollar world, Washington will be left behind. The onus, hence, is on the United States to launch a digital currency initiative, not to simply lock horns with China, but to preserve the reserve currency status of the dollar. Morrison does not want the U.S. to merely compete against a digital yuan or a digital euro, he wants it to lead in digital currency. Hit the like and subscribe button to be alerted as more articles of interest are posted. Be sure to visit my Denarian blog for all of today's articles of interest and find me on Facebook as I also post them on there as well. Check out the Currency Exchange Planner before you leave. Use the promo code, the Denarian, to get 25% off at checkout along with the mobile application added free for being my subscriber. Register today as an affiliate with the Gold Savings Carrot Bar program. If you do not keep your savings in an real asset like gold, you risk everything as the fiat system fails. Protect your family's wealth today in physical gold, as tomorrow may be too late. This program is made so even low-income people can buy gold, by offering it one gram at a time, which makes it affordable to everyone. Get involved today. It's free to register and secure your family's savings tomorrow. You can always turn gold into any kind of fiat money you want or need later. The gold will always be in your possession not the banks who do not care about your well-being. Above all the gold will retain its purchasing power in good times as well as bad, the dollar will not. Ask yourself this. Why are all the central banks loading up on gold lately and running from the current depreciating fiat US dollar? Do you think they do not know what is coming? Get yourself protected today, before it's too late. Both of the links to these invaluable programs are available in the description box below this video. Go check them out. Knowledge is power. Over and out. The Denarian.